if you're ever out and about and you turn a log over or maybe even if you're just at home and you lift a stone up on your rockery or any stone in your garden chances are you're going to find one of our commonest invertebrates underneath it and that commonest invertebrate will be this species And turning any log over will invariably reveal a number of these. This is an Iscus ocellus, which is now going to very sharply dwindle in numbers, various sizes. But this is a large woodlouse. One of the beauties of this species being so common is that it's accessible and seen by everybody. Every child will have seen this particular woodlouse. It's very common in all habitats and especially in gardens. Lift anything up and look underneath. Chances are you've got a number of these decorating it. Absolutely widespread, ubiquitous to pretty much every garden. You may even have it underneath a pot that you've got on the balcony of your 10th floor flat and this along with Porcelio scaber which is the common rough woodlouse and it's because the cellars here is the common smooth woodlouse if I remember right are likely to be found on any garden safari that you undertake with the kids that's one of the joys of woodlice and common species such as this is that they're easily accessible they're a way of getting the kids interested in wildlife some people don't like them but they're completely harmless vegetarian and will feed on all sorts of detritus they're a very important part of the ecosystem of any woodland or garden and they are absolutely beautifully marked. Some specimens can have real bright canary yellow flecks down either side dorsally. These have got a hint of such flecks. But some are more impressively marked than others. They're usually always found in good numbers. Where you'll find one, you can find a hundred. And... They don't usually move a great deal until exposed to the light, much in the way that they have been here. But despite being so common, so ordinary, neglected in terms of recording in most counties, these play an important part, or can play an important part, as I mentioned, in instilling an interest in invertebrates and the wider natural world in young children. Anybody can go out with the kids into the garden or woodland and look for these. In that way they are particularly useful even though amongst recorders they're rarely recorded really. <laughs> 